Nobody wants much to strive to get their lives in order, but they like to meditate. The Buddhists have what they call precepts or trainings in moral behavior. And moral behavior is not a goody-goody thing here. They're trying to point out to us in a very polite way how we should function as human beings. Nothing is certain, but we think it is because that's the basis of our happiness. We have to have something we can rely on, but there really is nothing in nature that is reliable. Every single thing that exists in this universe arises, develops, passes away. It's like a thing in process, but there are no things. Meditation practice in the Buddhist sense is designed to do this very thing. The more we practice, the more the insight, as they call it, arises. And the full and complete insight is into the nature of what a human being isn't, rather than what a human being is. I mean, all people believe that they have a self, that there is a me living life. It's the most common belief of all. It's a desperate attempt to cover over the cracks. This is contentious, of course, if you've not heard this before. You might be wondering what's going on here. But it's the basis of Buddhism, the basic statement that the human being is what they call an atta, void of anything you could call an abiding self, soul, spirit, or whatever word you want to use. <laughs>